Hey guys, welcome to this new vlog. Um, this is a bit of a hastily put together one today. Um, I got the news today that both Sir Christopher Lee and the American Dream Dusty Rhodes have both passed away today. Dusty Rhodes passed away at the age of 69 while Christopher Lee passed away at the age of 93. Both lived full lives, both did amazing with their life and it's very devastating after after hearing all this. Dusty Rhodes to me meant one of the absolute best in the business and I'm not just blowing smoke just because he's passed away. I know a, people, a lot of people like to do that but I'm not going to. Um, had amazing matches with Ric Flair and in the twilight of his career he had an amazing bull rope match with Steve Carino in ECW and he had a lot of shortcomings as far as um, booking wrestling and having great ideas or whatever. He had great ideas, the only problem was he didn't have a filter to tell him that less is more. To him more was more and too much was never enough. And that's what pretty much led to the end of his run in TNA as a booker. It was because he was doing too much, too much, too much and to him it was never enough. He should just crank it up to the maximum. But I'm not here to be negative about Dusty uh, to a lot of people, to his sons, Dustin Goldust and Cody, who's Stardust. He was, as his theme song would say, he's the common man. And in everybody else's eyes, he was going to be everything but common, considering he's, um, considering he is one of the best or was one of the best in the wrestling business as a wrestler, as a talker, not so much as a booker. I mean, at first in TNA he started off really strong and then unfortunately that more is more and too much is never enough mentality kicked in. But I have major respect for Dusty Rhodes for everything he accomplished for the wrestling business and he will be sorely missed by everyone. Christopher Lee of course, everybody remembers him as Dracula. Everybody remembers him as Saruman from Lord of the Rings. Everybody remembers him as Count Dooku from Star Wars. The one I remember him for is Francisco Scaramanga from The Man with the Golden Gun, the James Bond film. And my favourite gun of the entire series. I think it's a lot of people's favourite gun. Christopher Lee had a very, very full life that he lived. He was an amazing actor amazing method actor, um, played villains to perfection. I don't think I've ever seen him play a good guy. And if he if he did, I mean, somebody please tell me that he did, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure it happened. Um, I'll always remember him for being Count Dooku, or as I like to call him, Darth Tyrannus, from Star Wars Episode 2 and 3. The curvy lightsaber, as I like to call it, and the fact that he was a master behind that role. I mean, a little bit wasted in Star Wars Episode 2 and 3, but he was like one of the high points of Episode 2 and 3. As Saruman in Lord of the Rings, phenomenal. He played the part of somebody who was a pure wizard turning to the dark side really really well and turning into Sar Sauron's apprentice or Sauron's liege I should say and that was really my proper first exposure to Christopher Lee apart from Man with the Golden Gun I didn't realize that it was the same guy until years later it was probably because of the beard and the fact that he gone white and everything that's what old age does to you and that probably sounds ludicrous coming from my mouth um, but back to the story um, he'll be what he'll be forever known as Dracula I mean that's a given Dracula's image is always going to be Christopher Lee no word of a lie Francisco Scaramanga Gold, Man with the Golden Gun is like my second favourite Bond film I'll just put that out there the first Tomorrow Never Dies but Man with the Golden Gun was for very different reasons one the Golden Gun for obvious that's obvious. Um, and then the character of Scaramanga himself. Very meticulous, 
very controlling but calm, cool and collected character and that was amazing it was amazing to see, it was amazing to watch and that's one of Christopher Lee's finest performances ever and I give props where props is due he will be missed by the film world the people who knew him, the people who loved him he'll also be missed by the metal industry which I felt was like he released a metal record in his 80s and he had a passion for it and I have major respect for him to do that at his age although age shouldn't really matter in that situation but yeah he'll he'll be missed he'll be badly missed he'll be badly missed by me because he was such a good villain actor Dusty Rhodes will be missed by me because I'm a big history buff into the wrestling business I I have researched the history of the business and Dusty Rhodes comes up a lot during the NWA days and he was the perfect foil for Ric Flair Ric Flair the perfect blonde haired slim like attractive to women champion who goes around in all the flashy cars and flies on jets whereas and Dusty Rose is the complete polar opposite he's a larger fella um, country boy who probably drives pickup truck and isn't really noticed by many people because he's not as flashy and yet he became the world champion in a very very well received face turn much celebrated as a fact, matter of fact and he transcended the business the work he was doing with NXT before he died I mean you can't give Hunter all the credit even though Hunter has been reaping all the credit since it became this big thing Dusty was there behind the scenes helping and he did his be he did his best I mean Gold Dust and Stardust have found that his teaching has served them well and as his sons they're the ones who are going to be the most hurting I send the utmost of condolences out to the Rhodes family I send the most utmost condolences to Christopher Lee's loved ones and all his friends and I will miss the, I will miss them both very different industries but the, some of the greatest people thanks for watching this uh, quick vlog guys I know it kind of came a bit soon after the last one but I just had to get this out there and you know kind of an emergency um, next video is going to be an in, the in memoriam on Robin Williams I finally done my research and that's going to be the next video in memoriams on Christopher Lee and Dusty Rhodes will probably come later on but for now you just look forward to Robin Williams because I've got the research done and I'll be ready to bring that to you soon. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and everything and if you could for a moment to check out my other videos on my channel and if you haven't already, subscribe and keep it here for Deadbolt Dragons. Peace.